Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel, and for today's discussion, we're going to focus on how to divide rational algebraic expressions. We have this first example, find the quotient of 6ab squared over 4cd divided by the 9a squared b squared over 8c squared d squared. So how do we divide fraction? The first step is we need to copy the first one. So, kinapi lang natin. That's 6ab squared over 4cd. After that, we need to change the operation. So, from uh, dividing the two algebraic expression, we need to multiply it. Next is, we need to flip this over. So, by flipping this one, we flip lang natin. So, yung 9a squared b squared over 8c squared d squared, pag flinip natin yan, it becomes 8c squared d over 9a squared b squared. After that, we need to proceed to multiplication of algebraic expression. So, how do we multiply? That's numerator times numerator and then denominator times the denominator. Okay? So, this becomes... 6ab squared over 4cd multiplied to 8c squared d squared over 9a squared d squared. Okay, multiplying that one, numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator, this becomes 6ab squared times 8c squared d over 4cd multiplied to 9a squared d squared. Ano yung next step? We need to factor each monomial. So, 6ab squared becomes 2 times 3 times a times b times b. 8c squared d becomes 2 times 2 times 2 times c times c times d. Over 4cd becomes 2 times 2 times c times d. And 9a squared b squared becomes 3 times 3 times a times a times b times b. Okay, we need to cancel the common terms. We have 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 2 and 2, we have a and a, b and b, b another b, and then we have letter c and letter c, letter d and letter d. Okay, so we write the remaining terms. These are 2 times 2 times C at the numerator. In the denominator, we have 3 times A. Simplifying this one, this becomes 2 times 2 times C becomes 4C and then 3 times A becomes 3A. Therefore, the final answer is 4C over 3A. We have another example. Find the quotient of 2X squared plus X minus 6 over 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 and x squared minus 2x minus 8 over 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Okay? So, ano yung first step? We need to copy. Change this one to multiplication and then we flip. We flip this one. So, x squared minus 2x minus 8 over 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Flipping that one, it becomes 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 over x squared minus 2x minus 8. Okay, so we need to multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times the denominator. We have the quantity of 2x squared plus x minus 6 times the quantity of 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 over the quantity of 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x minus 8. Ano yung next na gagawin natin? We need to factor each polynomial. If you want to learn more on how to factor each polynomial, just check the link in the description below. So, we have, start muna tayo kay 2x squared plus x minus 6. If we are going to factor out this one, this becomes 2x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 2. 
Next is 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Factor out this one. This becomes 2x plus 5 times the quantity of x minus 4. So, to check kung yung quantity ng 2x plus 5 times the quantity of x minus 4 is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 20, just use the FOIL method. Link is available also at the description below. So, for next, we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. This becomes 2x plus 5 times the quantity of x plus 1. The factor is x plus 2 and the quantity of x minus 4. Okay, we need to cancel the common from between the numerator and the denominator. So, these are x plus 2 and x plus 2, 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 5. We have x minus 4 and x minus 4. Okay, write natin yung remaining we have from the numerator 2x minus 3 and from the denominator we have x plus 1. Therefore, the final answer is 2x minus 3 over the quantity of x plus 1.